All right, here we are. You've just gotten your Mag Reaper in the mail and you're super excited to get it on your rig and get it all set up. And that's good, but let's just take a deep breath, calm down and do this right. The first thing we've got to determine is what magazines we're gonna be using in here. Now these will accept any type of magazine, all right? You've got your Troy mags, okay? They're gonna fit in there good. P mags, $5 mags, your metal mags, whatever it may be. The key to having them fit in there good is the tension adjustments, all right? So what you're gonna to wanna to do before you get them on the rig and get all excited, load your mag all the way, okay? So it's got the proper weight. Insert your mag into the mag reaper, all right? Now, give it a shake, and if it pops out like that, you need a little bit more tension. So you're gonna acquire your tension adjustment tool little Phillips head, like so, and you're going to give it a little more tension. Now, you don't have to hold the back of it, all right? On previous models, we did, but not anymore. Give it a little more tension. Try it again, okay? It's nice and firm in there, okay? That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more tension. You want enough to where it's not just going to pop out, but to where you can pull it out with a good firm tug, okay? So that, that's about right. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect just yet. We just want to kind of get it started. And once you get them adjusted like that, you want to put them on the rig. Now, before we get excited doing that, there's all kinds of different rigs out there. Bigger ones, smaller ones, all rows of molly, skipped rows of molly, whatever. Depending on how many reapers you've got, figure out where you want to put them on there. Some people like them in a row, some people like them stacked, some people like them staggered. It's your rig, do it how you want. Now, it is easier a lot of times to take the hard armor out of the rig so it's a little bit more pliable when working these malice clips into there. It's up to you. If you're having a hard time, pull the hard armor out. It'll be a lot easier. So now what we're gonna do is thread these into place, but we are not going to attach them yet. Okay, so we get them threaded. That one's gonna sit about there. And this one, let's say I want it to sit about right here. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's about right. That's about where I want them. Now you're gonna wanna put your rig on at this point, okay? and kind of get a feel for where they're at. Maybe they're sitting a little too low, maybe they're a little too high, maybe a little bit more adjustment. To your body, to your rig, figure out where you want them. Once you've got them pretty well set where you want them, go ahead and attach them by inserting the malice into itself, letting it clip into place, like so, okay? Now they're on there. They're not coming off unless you want them to come off, all right? now. Maybe a week from now you get down the road or later today when you're out on the range shooting, running and gunning, you figure out, you know what, no, I want this one a little lower. Pull it out, put it a little lower, you're good to go, all right? Now, now that we've got them on the rig, you're gonna insert your loaded magazines into them, okay? Whatever they may be. You're gonna throw your rig on and you're gonna jump up and down a little bit and see if they're popping out of there, okay? If they're popping out of there, give them a little bit more tension, all right? It doesn't take a lot of tension adjustment to give it a lot more tension. So get them about right to where you can jump up and down pretty, give it a good jostle, and if they're not popping out, you're good to go. 